Hello guys, this is DC Trader for another market review and time flies guys. Now it is December 1st, 2020 and we have actually a few more weeks and then it's another new year. Hope everybody's doing better and we're able to take a rest on uh, yesterday's holiday and today what's going on with the US market guys. Take a look at that guys. Remember once we were just above this new all-time high and then we broke this all-time higher and today we are even trying to go up even higher and maybe surpass this all-time high and let's take a look at what was that price it is around 3,669 and if we could go to 3,670 3, that'll be great all right and take a look at this this morning guys the futures market look at that guys it went up now it's going even higher and although it's trying to go down but its goal i guess guys is to reaching 3670 and let's take a look at our markets today guys our market today is also doing a little bit better take a look at that big green candle guys and then of course today Let's take a look at this, uh, our markets today. And actually, before last Friday, guys, I was telling you this. This was the two uh, areas that I was eyeing on. And I was telling you, okay, if it broke higher, don't go back to the low. That is a continuation to the bear, uh, to the bull micro going up here and I'll take a look at area around this particular area, right? If it would stay above. Now, this morning, what happened is it opened below. Below where? Actually, below very close to this area here. So it could be sellers. It opened the market here. There were orders here. Sellers could be liquidating here. To go up right so now in this scenario what happened was okay the market dropped so it's a continuation to this bear micro and now we are forming a bull micro guys and then we ended up even higher which is around this area here will used to be a support now a resistance area right so for tomorrow what where do i think is important number one take a look at this we know this is a bull micro i would say for tomorrow i want this area here we need to stay above this particular area if we stay above 6900 right like tomorrow this could go down a bit and go back straight up now what we need here for a continuation to this bull micro it has to do higher highs and not breaking lows and going down and if it does that as long as it does not break this 6900 we could still have a chance to go up that is my thinking for this particular market because this is what i would feel like that so tomorrow as long as we stay above six nine and we we continue this bull micro we're good to go guys for another we may want to go back to seven thousand one hundred thirty two just like in the futures market guys that's what i feel the next particular stock that we're going to be discussing is ac energy and ac energy guys it is okay not as exciting but you know okay on monday we were having a oh no on friday we had a bull micro right today what happened is we had a continuation and today we had a bear micro but the issue is it's not a total bear micro because it did not have a go up and go back down again 
it was all one straight flow so and if you take a look at this it also stopped in this particular area which is the basically the uh, the gap so this means something guys so for tomorrow I will simply mark this particular area if this breaks down first this will be a pure bull mic uh, bear micro if this breaks higher and continues above inside this particular gap then this cancels this particular bear micro this be still became a continuation to this particular area that's it really all right that is for that market and the next particular market we're going to be discussing is ali now ali was that is one big cat let's take a look at what happened so for ali guys uh i was telling you guys okay on friday i'll be marking this particular zone whether it's gonna be a continuation to the downside now today what happened it opened lower see it broke this particular area then it created higher highs so that's definitely bear now it's going to a bull micro and we ended up even higher guys but of course we are again filling this gap so my guess tomorrow definitely i would be eyeing around this particular area i don't want to revisit this particular area if we do revisit this area I would like to see what happened is it a bear or a bull micro which means to say okay tomorrow we ended up here we went down but we could not retest the low anymore and continue to go up higher then that means that we are a continuation to this bull micro but what happens if we open here go down retest the low and then after that go back up then you know after the bear is a bull so that could be a good sign but what if we open here start to go down even go down even as lower as 38 then that's not so good because we don't want to go down to 38.29 we want to stay above there because 38.29 is the june high that is it for this particular market and the next market that we're going to be discussing is BDO. Now for BDO guys, again, you know that, okay, we broke this particular area. We close here. And today we dropped, we open actually lower to 100 or near 100. And why is that? It's because of this particular area, right? Buyer started, then you know buyer started there. So what happened was, okay. So in this scenario, this is this particular market was a one big bear micro. And now we are creating higher highs we are now just creating a bull micro to the upside now my guess actually for tomorrow i would feel there is an importance to stay above this particular area as long as we can stay above this particular area creating higher highs we may be able to go back to this area here 111 and from there, I know our main goal for this particular market is 114. And why did I say 114? Because of this particular area.
that's the main reason around 114 113 near that area that is for this particular market so we hope bdo is will continue its bull micro now for converge guys i would like to do a little flashback flashback Five twenty, but we actually reach as low as almost fifteen thirty around that area. So the way I would see it um, on Monday, this could also open here and go back down. But what I want to see is open here, go down a bit, and go back up, retest the highs again, open down, retest upon the highs, like this guy. That's what I feel. For this market to really do something, it should do this, do this, and go up again. That's much better. Other than that, this could also open. But if it does not retest this high, then this is a continuation to this bear micro. End of flashback. Main screen. So basically, guys, okay. I guess uh, it opened here and it really touches this particular area, which is around 1560, the one that I told you guys. And where did I get 1560s? Uh, I know you guys have already heard me saying this one it's because of this particular area okay and it was actually the start this particular area 1560 around that area that's where i got it and it made a very very important area here and today what happens it again went down but it did not retest 1560 and it started to go up even a little bit higher so for tomorrow guys easy in order for this to continue there you go it has to broke above that area if it can if it if this breaks this area and continue i'll take a look at it again at 1560 and if it goes back to 1560 guys you know there is still some sellers stuck in this area here if it's it won't go back here or already then you know that there's no more sellers there and it's all buyers so which means that we have a bigger chance of going back up to 1680 and you know 1680 again another important number for the traders because that is the d-day that area that is important guys in order for us to go back there right so this area is very important 1560 if this particular area breaks down i'll take a look at what happened to 1560 all right that is for this particular market and the next market that we're going to be discussing is another telecom veto now for Dito guys, really, again, we have not yet finished this particular area between here and here. Although we are closing back to 650, so I hope maybe tomorrow we can break this 650 and continue above. And that means that this particular area becomes a bull micro. And if this becomes a bull micro, that is a good sign to us. Now, what if, okay, what happens if this goes down and goes back up? As long as it creates higher highs, it's a continuation to the bull micro. But what happens if it op opens here, creates going back down? Then again, I'll have to take a look at 617. Because for me, this particular stock has been a very hard range. All right. That is for this particular market. So I find it may break 650 tomorrow. 
But after that, I hope it can continue. All right. Then for the next particular stock is FGen. Now for FGen guys, take a look at that guys. That is one hard market. Although it is creating a little bit of higher highs, but this particular company is really getting to be very hard to trade. Take a look at that. It went down. It even tried to retest. It could not even break 28. And what happens? It opened above 29.30. And you know, 29.30 was another important area around this particular area. So, which means again, for tomorrow, hmm, this is still a very, I would put a box here. Anything inside is hard to trade. Now, for tomorrow, if it continues to break this and stay above 29.35, then this becomes a bull micro. Other than that, if this breaks this particular area of 28 and continue, then this cancels out this particular bear. And this becomes the bear micro. And this becomes the bull. That is for this FGen. So FGen really, guys, it is a very hard to trade and if you take a look at from this bottom area first entry it has not even break the low for going for a second entry yet so although i feel this market may have may have a, a more chance to the upside but it's because of those big range and it's jumping really not it's not having a very nice flow so it's hard to trade the next particular stock that we're going to be discussing is HLCM. Now for HLCM guys, take a look at this guys. It is since the fifth day, this is the first uh, five days it is breaking the lows and today it's breaking the highs. That is a, a new change. And if you take a look at this particular stock, guys, Friday, it went up, right? And today, it started to go down. But, like I said, it was not able to retest 672. So now, it broke higher at 695. And it's even going above high. So for tomorrow, guys, all right. In order for this to continue this particular up side momentum, it can't break 690. If this breaks 690, this is a bear micro. So it has to break above 710. And then if we're going to do a drawing there, that's how it looks like. All right. So it's either one or the other. If it breaks this, it may go down to 672. And then from there, let's see if it, this can hold. If this can hold and it's turning back higher highs, then you know the sellers are getting out of this 672 area. All right. That is for this particular stock. And the next particular stock that we're going to be discussing is JFC and JFC guys it is I like it I love it I want some more of it as you can see here it was like this right but today it found support at a moving average and what happened was okay this was last friday right i know this was friday and today they had a, they had a continuation to the downside so okay it pushes down but the problem is it could not retest 185.46 around that particular area so but it went up higher breaking highs now so this is a 
Bull Micro. So for tomorrow, guys, I would mark this particular area. We have to stay above 190 or actually 194 is the better deal. Now for tomorrow, it can, it can go down maybe within 194, hoping that people will support this. And if it does, it could go back up higher and even may have a chance to break. This previous high in November, which is around 200, right? Other than that, it is a good sign for this particular JFC is turning around. That's my feeling. All right. So, and if we take a look at this, guys, let's take a look at the next particular stock. And the next particular stock is MBT, guys. And MBT today was okay remember i told you guys i'm gonna take a look at mbt when it goes back in the range and you know okay one or the other it broke down right like that like that right But today, guys, okay, remember it tried to go down, could not retest back, it went up. But the problem with this particular area is it did not even retest the highs. So tomorrow, I'll mark this particular area. It has to break one or the other. In the middle, it's a range. We have to stay above 489, uh, 48.09 to be a good sign. Like that. All right, so this particular area is important, these areas. All right. That is for this particular stock. And the next particular stock that we're going to be discussing is MM. Now for MM, guys, let's do a little flashback. Flashback. Although it didn't break higher, but that means that it's trying to go higher so for me this is a bull micro and it did reach around six i was hoping higher than six but uh, that's the only thing it can do all right but other than that i feel on monday if there's a continuation to this particular area it's gonna go up higher and until i don't know what what's its reaction on 623 it may be following this particular trend line, which makes sense, right? Around this particular area, around that area. So let's see what happens to this particular stock if this particular stock follow this particular trend line, right? That is for this particular stock. The next stock that we're gonna be discussing. End of flashback. Screen and of course. What happened was, okay, it actually just opened high, went above, but the problem was, again, it did not retest above 623. So although you know it's a continuation to this bull micro, but, to, but on tomorrow, there you go. Now I know this looks like a start of a bear micro, but the problem was, of course, there's no retest. So I would see, take a look at it tomorrow like that. See what happens. But I would like tomorrow really to stay above 630. If it does stay above 630, 
well and good. It can go back to the highs. That is for this particular stock, right? The next stock that we're going to be discussing is one of my favorite, P Gold. And P Gold is a. Oops. P Gold, guys, is really not the greatest stock to be trading right now. Look at that, guys. Again, you know, on Friday, there was a lot of sellers here right and of course I mark this particular area it's either one or the other and today we actually broke down all right so for tomorrow guys I gotta mark this area guys I don't want to go below 4150 4159 and if we go below there we may be continuing this particular bear micro and that is really bad i really want us to stay above here and even continue higher highs and maybe stay above 4250 and if we can stay above 4250 guys we have a chance to go back to 4415 but other than that i feel this particular market is a very bearish one take a look at that it's following this particular angle so its goal may be to break down even as low as 41. let's hope pure gold changes its mind the next particular stock that we're gonna be discussing is Sec B. Now again, Sec B guys, nothing has changed. Although it has confirmed there are sellers above this particular area, guys. But other than that, there's really nothing much to touch. It's either it's 6116 or 12579. That is it, really, guys. Other than that, in the middle, it's hard It's hard to say. But my feeling is, if it's a down day for all the financial, this particular stock may touch 116. Alright, that is for this particular stock. And the next stock that we're going to be discussing is... Sec B. Oh, no. Tech, tech, tech. And for tech guys, it is a little bit different. Tech is a different. Take a look at that guys. Of course, this is a uh, bull micro. And today it went down. But it could not retest this low here and it break the higher so it is a continuation to this bull micro now of course the next thing i will take a look at it all right so we know that this is a bull micro and if we want this to continue guys then i maybe would look for this as long as we stay above 675 and we could not retest it twice and break the highs of six or seven pesos we have a chance to go even higher for this particular stock all right because our goal for this particular stock is around let me take a look at this bigger I know this particular stock has a chance to go back 850 if it follows this particular trend. But other than that, I feel this market may have a chance as long as it does not go below 675. Alright guys, so thank you very much for taking your time to listening to me again. And as, as always, if you... Uh, Please support my channel and like and subscribe and uh, 
Thank you very much and uh, have a great day.